Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. Welcome to another computer upgrade tutorial. This time it is Dell Inspiron 3670 uh, office computer. So even though this computer doesn't look like much from the outside, this is a perfect computer for doing uh, upgrades. I mean, perfect computer to turn into a gaming computer. Uh, the reason, uh, because this computer takes an uh, standard size power supply which is a game changer which is like the crucial for turning into turning any pc into a gaming pc so without further ado let's get to it uh so what are your upgrade options like like i said the uh get a like a since this computer has like a standard power supply housing so we can put a standard power supply in it and even though this computer is highly upgradable, uh, you cannot put a, like a very large GPU in it. So just put a mid-size graphics card instead. Mid-size powerful graphics card or, um, or mid-size budget graphics card, uh, however you want to say it. And this computer supports up to 32 gig of RAM. But if you're just using it for gaming, 16 GB is enough. And this computer already comes with a 512 uh, NVMe drive. Uh, this is from SK Hynix. But if you need a bigger drive, go with the one terabyte or go with the two terabyte. Uh, I believe the um, NVMe that it comes with is a uh, Gen 3. But uh, you know, if you get a decent deal on a Gen 4, you can get a Gen 4 one uh, and uh, possibly get uh, even more uh, performance out of it okay and what's actually inside as you can see uh, this is uh kind of the when it's already been upgraded uh this computer only comes with two ram slots as you can see this uh two ram slots are full and i was able to fit a standard power supply standard 500 watt 80 plus power supply in it without any kind of problem and as you can this is actually a full size uh, graphics card i was able to fit that in as well and uh, this is the NVMe slot. If you want more SSD or miss any 2.5 SSD, you can insert them in the here. You can like kind of, uh, what do you call it? You can uh, um, mount them ho over here and uh, at the front. As you can see, there is one here. Uh, so that's, that's your option to add more storage if you want. Okay. And uh, let's see what are the power supply that you want to upgrade to so as you, this was the old power supply uh, this was uh, 290 watt but uh, this is a, like a non-certified one so this power supply is absolute trash so you if you want to do any kind of upgrade to it you must need a decent power supply I would suggest this Ares game power supply uh, this is a 500 watt 500 watt should be enough for this computer so no need to go too big uh and but for this you would need uh this the cable that you need for the power supply to work is this 24 pin to 8 pin atx cable so whenever you are searching for this just search for this 24 pin to 8 pin atx cable and you would be f able to find something like this so uh what happens is like uh in here the standard 24 pin is not gonna fit into the dell motherboard so uh, what are you going to do? You're going to plug in this cable in this standard 24 pin and you have this 8 pin available. That's what's going to plug into the motherboard. And and you're, uh, it will be able to power up the motherboard. Okay. And for the RAM options, uh, you can go... This computer comes with uh, uh, Core i5-8400 or Core i5-9400 CPU. Uh, these are six core CPU and they can go up to 26, 66 megahertz frequency. And the highest RAM amount is 32 gig, but I'm using this RAM 2400 T Samsung RAM and they work amazingly well. I, I, I did put a 26, 66 megahertz RAM in there, but these 2400 megahertz RAM works even better than the 26, 66 megahertz RAM. So I would suggest to go with this. And uh, you can uh, add 32 gig, but that would be unnecessary, uh, just unnecessary waste of money unless you really need it. 
so 16 GB would be enough. Uh, so just get two of these Samsung uh, 2400T DDR4 RAMs, 8 GB and 8 GB. But uh, one thing to note, there are lots of 2400T RAM that's for server. So make sure whatever RAM you are getting, make sure it's for the desktop, not, not the server RAM. Okay, so be careful about that. And for the GPU upgrade, I know I keep using this 1660 Ti uh, on pretty much every other budget build and every other office computer build. I mean, what can I say? This GPU works. This, this is a very small size, about 6 inches long uh, GPU, only two, two slots. And uh, this is a very power efficient uh, and uh, it also comes with the newer memory type GDDR6. It only need uh, one 8 pin power connector. So it's just good in every way. So, I mean, I know I'm just keep using this, but uh, like I said, this thing just works. And, and it's a mid size, like I said, and I do prefer NVIDIA graphics card for this computer because I did try to put a like a full size RX 580 graphics card in it and the computer would not boot. So I would suggest you to avoid uh, Radeon a graphics card for this computer. Go with the NVIDIA one um, because I know at least that this, this uh, works with the NVIDIA. Okay, and after I plugged in the power supply, RAM, and the graphics card, now it's time for benchmark testing. So this is the 3D Mark a benchmark testing score. And as you can see, I was able to get a legendary score. Uh, 30, um, sorry, uh, 5760, 5760 score for this computer, which is legendary. Uh, legendary doesn't mean it's like the high score. It means like using the same hardware. Nobody has gotten better than you. Using the same hardware, you like you are perfectly or efficiently using your hardware and you are able to achieve the legendary performance like boost out like the performance of your machine uh and um you can see my cpu score 4000 um 4301 and uh, graphics score is 6127 i i you can see my um graphics card is bottleneck by my cpu by my cpu but because my cpu score is kind of low but still i was able to achieve legendary score so that means everything working very efficiently. And uh, when a 3D Mark uh, score is like, uh, you know, 3D Mark score is standardized in 1440p. Like now when it comes to gaming, everybody 1440p is the standard. But uh, if you are willing to turn it down a little bit, uh, if you're willing to turn it down to 1080p, you can essentially double this score. So this score would be like around close to 10,000 if you just playing it uh, on 1080p ultra so that's something to take note of and just for another comparison uh asus rogue alley uh, this is like a newest handheld device and you can pretty much play any games with that thing that little device it's like a little laptop little handheld laptop kind of deal but i did run a benchmark test on a rog ally and my score was only 1500 so in here you are getting almost 6000 score so almost four times as much so this is a very good score from a five-year-old computer uh, i mean i i can't just stress this enough uh, and this is another uh, benchmark score from nova bench this one uh, does like uh, this, all, this doesn't only test the CPU and GPU. This this test all the other components. Uh, uh, Six seventy five CPU score, three hundred two GPU score. This uh, this GPU score on it's not doing it justice. This should be a lot higher. As as you can see, the memory score is very good. I'm getting two sixty one. That's a very good memory score. Normally, I get like around two hundred. And storage score is also decent. Two hundred and three. This is. This is the storage that this computer already came with, SK Hynix NVMe. But if you're willing to put a, like a Gen 3 or like a Western Digital uh, or Gen 4 uh, NVMe in there, you would probably get a, like around 300 score. So that's something to take note of, but it's not super necessary. This, the NVMe that this computer comes with is enough. And that's our 
total expense summary uh, for the Dell 3670 tower uh, you could you can expect to spend about $80 this is a newer computer so this is a little bit expensive and for 16 GB uh, RAM you are expected to pay $15 for a uh, uh, power supply 500 watt power supply you are expected to pay $30 and for 1660 Ti GPU, you are expected to $80. I was able to get one in Facebook Marketplace for around 60 bucks, so that was a good deal. And for a 24 pin to 8 pin power cable, you are expected to pay $5. So in a total about $210, you can get a very good, very demanding uh, gaming computer that can literally play any games. Uh, for newer AAA games, you probably the FPS would be probably a little bit low, but this is a very good gaming computer with 6,000 score. And just for comparison, I, I said like uh, the newest Rogue Ally is only have 1,500 score, and with this you have like 6,000 score. So very very good. Uh, I did not expect uh, this computer to per to perform this good. I do put a lot of information out there, so if you have any kind of question about anything, feel free to comment. I will try my best to answer those. And uh, thank you guys uh, for watching. You guys have a good day.